and this tax uh, about a billion dollars a year um, would uh, you want to dedicate it simple right. solely I, I'll for go through success. that one. yeah yep what do you think the, the long term pluses and minuses are of this Will it hurt corporations? Will corporations leave the state? On the other hand, will students do well? So I, I think, you know, if you, if you look at, uh, they do these models uh, to anticipate what will happen. And I think um, Senator Hass is really good at this. You know, he has been doing this for a long time. And I, I would say there's a lot of people who are pushing him to say, let's $2 billion a year. Why $1 billion? And And I think we looked really carefully at all those modeling and saying, can we impose a tax? that brings uh, more and more kids to getting to graduation and therefore more ready to go into the workforce when they get out of high school, um, which should be a positive for business. Can, can we make it so that over time, uh, in particular the next five, ten years, we see a growth because of this investment? Um, and all of those models have shown um, that this will not affect business that much. Um, we will move from right now we're 47th with respect to corporate taxes in the country. Um, this will move us into the 30s. So it's not putting us way up above or even uh, even up to the average of other states with respect to it. Um, and so it, it is a pretty moderate with respect to them, but $2 billion a biennium into the school system means that we actually finally meet this uh, quality education model and it also gets us close, not all the way, to meeting that commitment we made when in back in the 1990s when Medlet Measure 5 passed that said, everybody said, oh, that's not going to hurt the schools because they're going to backfill it by the state. Well, this will mean that we are finally trying to commit to make that a true statement, that we are looking at ways in which we get schools the funding that we promised them when Ballot Measure 5 said we're going to give this property tax um, help. Uh, and now we're going to try to get back to funding schools at that point. And so from my perspective, um, businesses which used to pay about 16 percent back in 1990 now pay about 6 percent. So it, it, it gives an opportunity uh, for that balancing of the system again. And since we have chosen to have a system that really is made up of income tax and property tax, and that's pretty much it, we don't have the sales tax and we don't have some of these other taxes that the states have, we have to look at ways in which um, we, we keep doing it. It's also a tax that's pretty stable. Um, people sell things into our state and, pe and companies in the state sell things. And so it, it's a much more stable tax than the other. So we're assuming that we're going to have that money on a regular basis. One of the things that schools have asked for more than anything else is just tell us what we have and don't have us go up and down with every whim in the economy. This is one of those taxes that's much more stable and we're, we're funding it to schools, which we agree we have to fund at a stable level over time.